Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. If you missed the last episode, we are on day two of farming the King's Call. We have a King's Call here, but we're looking for the God Roll 69,000 damage version. Same thing as this one, 9,000 more damage, better anointment is what we're after. Now we're 33 runs in, things are going pretty well for us, and I'll show you how efficient we have been doing these Tyrene the Destroyer. Final boss of the game? Yeah, right. So... We can burst through this first immunity phase pretty quickly with our Revolter Flax setup. And she's going to do two attacks as she spins around. You dodge them, and then you can climb up her leg. Take a couple shots here to reset our action skill. And then with 24 shots left, we should be able to get through this immunity phase. And then wait for this next one to come up. There we go. Super clean. Getting through these immunity phases really, really, really quickly. I also have on the Schluter artifact, so right before we get the kill, we're going to be blasting one of the side minions here. So again, fade away, immunity phase, find an enemy to kill, you're, you're gone, and then we can go back to the main effort. Boom, boom, there's our first kill with Schluter active. Let's see what we can get. In the, in the old Queen's Call, 66,000 damage. I do have a Queen's Call. Mine... I, but mine's the god roll 69,000 damage and this one's only 66. I don't really see a point in using it Especially because mine shreds armor better anyways, so we'll keep it in the last episode We did end up finding a whole bunch of other gear besides the king's call. That's very very useful Number one, or th they're mostly relics. We found this snowdrift victory rush, which is an absolutely phenomenal relic um, Every time you get you kill a badass you get movement speed and damage which is awesome for 60 seconds we also got this Icebreaker Auto Idol, which is amazing. It pairs so well with our Frozen Heart shield. That when we freeze enemies with our action skill start Frozen Heart, that's going to come in really in handy. And we also got this Atom Bomb Auto Idol. So we, again, the Auto Idol suffix restores 25% of your max health after killing an enemy, which is super nice for both these. And this Atom Bomb one is more from our Radiation Flak build when I eventually do put one together. So yeah, that's about where we're at. Taking down Tyreen the Destroyer and just kind of having a discussion off to the side. Like, last video was all about the the Borderlands movie. In this episode, I mean, I was going to talk about kind of like where I thought Borderlands 3 was at this. It kind of, like, not, a, not not like necessarily the state of Borderlands 3, but kind of the state of Borderlands 3. Let's, let's, let's Kings call this guy. There we go. First immunity phase done right there. Pretty simple. And with the with the new update that just passed that just came out and the the movie that just came out i feel like we're going to be a lot of new players joining the game especially because they just put the entire borderlands franchise on sale for 90 percent off which is crazy talk the amount of value that that they put out and every time someone asks you know should i get borderlands i say wait for it to go on sale because it goes on sale all the time which it just did again And I think I think Borderlands 3 is is in a pretty good spot now if you have a level 72 character you can boost the character to level 72 And so that way you only have to get one vault hunter through the story now me personally, I I like to Have each character make it through the gauntlet that way I can kind of learn about them as I go But I completely understand you know if you already have four vault hunters at level 72 and like each one of them I, I kind of wish it wasn't I wish you had to get each character to 72 and then you could Ooh, cut purse oh I was looking for uh what is that cut purse launch pad that's is that the one we're looking for yeah okay so let's just go to the next one hitting f2 like I'm playing rogue lands xd because I kind of think that if you haven't leveled up a character all the way through to level 72 like, you, you really don't know how the character functions. Like, even if you do endgame builds, like you didn't... You didn't really... I don't want to say you didn't earn it, but... You didn't really earn it. So I kind of wish that maybe if you already had a Moe's at level 72, you could get another one. Or if you already had a Flak at 72, you can get another one. But to just give every player access to level 72 characters, I mean, it's... I mean, the game's really old at this point. I get it. But still... Let's hope that they don't add something like that into Borderlands 4 at launch, you know? I, I doubt they would do something like that, but you never know. 
All right, wait for this to Pavarine to crouch down, and then we got a nice climb here. I still don't know what these purple diamonds are. Do I get bonus damage if I'm standing inside them? Maybe. Get our action skill back. Cleanse you. Reload. Find an enemy to shoot. Found you. Schluter's active, and there we go. Loot expanding cosmic crater. No, I'm, I'm okay. Actually, it actually might be pretty good. But the Schluter probably does the same thing, but a little bit better. A lot of launch pads, a Kazar, a duck. No King's Call. Again, the, the King's Call can come in both shock and fire. And I would like to get at least one copy of both. Because then if I, if I can get both, that means that I have red health bars, blue health bars, and armor health bars completely taken care of as far as bossing goes. Because the King's Call, even against Tyrene the Destroyer, and this one's not even anointed that well. The anointment on this King's Call is action skill and melee damage is increased. Like, that's nothing good. But even so, it still does really nice bossing damage. So, And I'm hoping to get a King's Call with maybe, like, uh, action skill active or fadeaway active. That's going to require a lot of Iridium. So we are getting Iridium as we go. Blast, blast the crit spot to hopefully get our action skill back, which we do. We're gonna have to blast them. Yeah, get that immunity phase. Come on, unimmune, unimmune yourself. Oh, I might, I might be doomed here. We'll see. We'll see. Usually, you try to get, you're trying to get this boss down one more, one more chunk before this immunity phase starts. We'll see what happens. Activate fade away. Okay, a whole bunch of immunity phase coming out. Perfect. Get one kill here. I think I think we're gonna be waiting for one more. Yeah. Not the most efficient kill this time around. That's because we didn't activate fade away in time. Make sure Schluter's active. It is good. And Vault Card level up 101. Congratulations. Let's go. Very nice. A right, King's Call. A King's Call to boot would be nice. Mm, Transfusion Tracker. I'm looking for more of a Hunter Seeker. Okay. Doesn't look like we got... Yeah, we didn't get anything that great. But let's go to our vault card. Got some vault card stuff? Two chests available. Come on. Show me the money. Three keys. Thank you very much. And three keys. I can... I can... Go ahead and reroll one of these. I'm going to do a reroll on a super soldier. So we got a new super soldier in our inventory. It looks like it's Roy damage. That is probably the worst you could possibly ask for. <laughs> but it is what it is. Roy damage gives us melee when it's broken, which is... Uh, it's just... It's not really what I'm looking for. Maybe if I'm doing, like, the, the melee damage flak build. But I'm not. So... Three runs in, no King's Call. But I don't mind, you know... If it, if it takes me... You know, 30 years to farm this King's Call, it's, it's a decent farm. It doesn't take that long, even with, what, three to four immunity phases? We're pretty much straight chilling. Rinse them with the light show. There we go. Come on, Tyreen, turn around faster. I'm sure there's a mod or something that takes away, you know, immunity phases, but you know what? What fun is that? That takes away from, like, how rare the gun is to obtain. Come on, get me up there. If anything, I want the mantling to be more consistent. Okay, blast through this. Reload me. There we go. That's efficient. That is efficiency. Good. I, if you stay on the right side as you climb, it should be a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, blast you. Immunity phase. Reload. Get one kill, then go back to Tyrene. There we go. A little Schluter action for you. Right, this is the run. Oh, blood letter, action skill, Hyperion, Hi Hyperion weapon damage, and heavy weapon damage. I'm not sure if there are any Hyperion launchers. Well, bounty hunter. Not as good as my bounty hunter. That's the, the bounty hunter is the the class mod I am using. Red card. Okay, maybe not. Pick up all my iridium and we run it back. 
put that counter to 38. It's been usually just under... It's usually a run every minute in like 40 seconds or so, which is pretty good. Not quite a run every two minutes. All right, activate action skill. I might mix it up soon. I, I can I'm using the light show because it has the most synergy with my with my bounty hunter that I have with weapon damage and pistol damage. So like using a pistol is really nice and having multiple pellets is really nice to get back our action skill quickly. So the light show has got that nice synergy. Blast you. Back to the fade away. Getting those auto crits on flak. I mean, it's such an underrated, underrated action skill. I'm not saying that like other people saying it's bad, but like it's just not appreciate underappreciated is the term I'm looking for. Okay, cleanse you, and then okay, I need to kill one enemy so that I can get my Schluter active. And Schluter is active. Good, good, very good. Yeah, Phasor. A bangerang. I do like the bangerang, but that's more of a, a Moe's. More of a Moe's weapon. You know, you just do one shot reloads with Moe's and watch the bangerangs blow up the entire map. We're getting a decent amount of iridium. With how many kills we've done, we thought uh, maybe I'd get more, but. The goal is to hopefully get enough iridium that by the time I get my God Roll King's call, I can just bring it over to the. Crazy Earl's reroll shop and just have all the iridium I need. But there's so many anointments that I'm probably gonna need a lot of iridium. Let's get super lucky. Juke. Juke. Very cool. So I'm excited for, you know, uh, Borderlands 4 is entering the last phases of its, of its production cycle, so. I think Borderlands 3 is going to be seeing a lot more play and, and Borderlands 2 as well. So this is just a good time to be jumping on and trying to I'm trying to improve my my library of weapons. I, I just recently cleared out my bank of 300 plus so, items, some of which were very rare. Like Blood Star Beast I got rid of. I got rid of a Ember's Purge. Some people are probably like, how why would you ever do that? I'm trying to make room in my bank so I can find stuff. Yeah, recursion. Ooh, a Maggie. Interesting. I, I do have a Maggie. Let's check its damage out compared to my own. Let's see. Where did my Maggie go? There it is. Let's put it in here instead of the Queen's Call. Okay, its damage is lower. So in that case, I keep my own. Oh, a heat wave and a shock wave? That is an interesting drop. It is a pretty interesting drop. All the, all the shotguns in the world on this one. Okay. That's our 40th run. That's what I'm talking about. How many, ex how many am I expecting to have to do? I actually don't know what the actual odds are. I'm sure they're greater than 1 in 40. Good to see you, my uh, let's boy. use a little bit of the Monarch this time. Fade away. Bada bing, bada boom. We want uh, there, the uh, the only queen's call that I really want is probably the corrosive one that I already have. There's really no reason to take a radiation one. I get that there are bosses that it'd be good against, but you don't want to have to use a king's call and queen's call for literally everything. I something I like to do is I like to mix up my weapons, so. I don't mind having a gun in only one element. Most people like to, you know, make sure that they get all the elements for their guns. And while that's nice, there's something that's also nice about having a weapon that specializes in something like, oh, my 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 Bosch Shredder that takes out HP bars, re regular red HP bars, I can make that my King's Call, right? The staying diverse and always using different weapons. We go, Schluter's active. The Monarch, of course, rips bosses. Red Queen. Last stand, Miss Moxie's endowment makes some sense. Hmm. 
Come on, Kings call me. Nope. And the drop chance is not that great, so. One at a time, it, it, that is the strategy. 41. Getting closer to the, to the meaning of life, 42, right? 42, according to the Gulliver's Guide to the Galaxy. Which, by the way, Gulliver's Guide to the Galaxy, they rate the most useful tool in the galaxy as a towel. And towels are super OP because what? They're, they're warmth, they're dryness, you can carry things with towels. Okay. Decent damage from that monarch, to be honest with you. It's nice using the monarch because I'm I've been I'm generally a, a Moe's player. So as Moe's the monarch is nice, but she's not like a monarch specialist or anything like that. Oh, it's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the wrong thing. Gull what a Gulliver's Guide to the Galaxy. That's gotta be something completely different. Gulliver's Travels. My fiance's here is giving me all the answers. She's like, you're you're just saying the wrong things. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Tyreen, you need to help me out here. Okay, blast you. Enter fade away. Get rinsed. Reload me once for the fans. You're gone and you're gone. Oh wow, the front side of Tyreen looks scary. King's call. There's a Layuda. I'm not sure if that's a god roll or not. I should probably probably know at this point. But Wow, still we have yet to get a king or a queen's call so far. That's fine. That's what makes it rare. Like the more far the more runs you do, the more achievement you feel when you actually get the weapon. And it's like whenever you use it, you'll remember that farm. Like that, I, I grinded for that gun. Let's go. And like, you learn about the small efficiencies of each of the runs as you play along with it. Like when you can hit, hit that trigger. Okay, climb. There we go. That's a good climb right there. Get the bipod out. Get my action skill back. Reload me once. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clean. I thought I messed it up, but it looks like it worked completely fine. Okay, good climb. Bye, pot out. Get you to the immunity phase. Kill one of your friends. There we go. Nice and easy. Devil's foursome. Come on. I would like a king's call, please. A spark plug launch pad is actually what you need. And it has cryo damage on it. That's actually what you need for the Moe's frozen snowshoe build. So I will take that and that will be going over to my Moe's. Ooh, a Rowan's call with 58,000 damage. Is that? I do not believe that's the god roll incendiary. I think it has to be 60,000. So nice try, but not this time around. Everyone's calls a super strong weapon, though. I have a God Roll Rowan's Call, but it's radiation, which actually is probably the best because the Rowan's Call specializes in in ricochets and spreading damage around to multiple targets, and radiation has that beautiful um, explosion effect. So the only other one that I can consider maybe better than the radiation one is the Cryo one, but they're close. All right, let's run it. Climb, climb, climb. Oh, nice climb. Bipod me. Reload once for the fans. I'm just staying on the head. Yeah, you don't want that work, Tyreen. Trust me. Go ahead, do your thing. Stay on the right-hand side. Perfect. Bipod out. I'll take one reload for the fans. And then... Take you out. Why can't I hit that? Oh, the Schluter's active. Schluter's active. Go, go, go. Beautiful. I believe. Come on, King's Call. 
Ooh. Oh, I saw a shock. I got excited. Large firestorm. That sprinkler. Electric slide rocket boots. That's an interesting one. Everything but a king's call. Yep, everything but a king's call. Alright, we run it back. I mean, the Schluter, what, it does slow me down a little bit. So I'm checking out the legendaries, but I'm also trying to find, like, supplemental pieces to my builds. So, getting those extra legendaries is pretty useful. I want to try... Let's see, the Monarch and the Light Shore are doing great work for me. Let's, let's actually run this Maggie. My Maggie has Gravity Snare anointment on it, which is not the best. Maybe I could... Maybe this needle gun will do the trick too. Let's try this needle gun. From the Joy Ultraviolet room. Alright, needle gun. Surely you got the deeps, right? Yeah, it looks like you it looks like you got some deeps. I'll put some respect in your name. Oh, Tyreen, chill out. I killed I took out her first phase too slowly though. She had time to go for her laser attack. Alright, come on. Okay, needle gun me. Get there, needle gun. There we go, reload. Keep it going. Good. I think we might we might get there with the needle gun relatively quickly. Not as quickly as some of these other guns, but good. Fade away me. Get you to that immunity phase. I just need to kill one more other thing. There we go. Schluter active. And boss down. Needle gun gets the job done. Which is nice. I like that. Knife drain, deathless, a shock stone victory rush now. Come on, kings call me. Ice spiker victory rush. Mm, no. Kings call? Absolutely not. Okay. I think the needle gun definitely was a little bit slower than my... Than both the... Light show and the the monarch. So let's try... I, I could try my red one's call here. I don't have a problem with that. Red one's call has a ton of damage. Let's go... Let's slap it on. So let's go row wins call. I also have an OPQ system here that I could try. Here's my god roll... Rowan's call. It has action skill and damage, which isn't the best, but let's roll. Toss me. Fade away me. Let's see how it does. It that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It one phased it. And the Rowan's call is one of my favorite guns because the fact that as long as you hit Chris, it keeps returning bullets to the ammunition, just like the King's call and the Queen's call. It's really useful if you're hitting those crits. You can just keep going and never stop. When you're in fade away, at least. There we go. I'll put you at 1 HP, so that way I can return to you. Looks like it, my, he did die, though. Whoa! And I got knocked off the edge. Now, that's my... I think that's my very first death. That's my very first death since starting to farm the, the King's Call. <laughs> and Tyreen just sent me complete. Wow, look at that fee. It's a 39 million death fee? What in the world? The, the Romans call is cursed. Beautiful. I'm about to give him my revenge for sure. Climb me. This time, this time I'm not going to let her knock me forward. Activate. Fade away. And just keep shooting. No need to stop. Beautiful. It's like... It's like the 4th of July. Alright, give me a quick climb. Blast it. Oh, see? Look, look, she's knocking me forward. Since when is that a thing? You're gone. Do I have Schluter active? I do not, but I will soon. There we go. Schluter active. And boss goes down. Then Rowan's call is pretty good. And it's all pretty good if you have... Hmm. 
We could do Ice Spiker Miss Moxie's endowment for combat XP, but. The Flood. Still no Kings or Queens call. That just shows you how rare this is. And it's not the fact that we want to drop. It's that we want to drop at a God roll. Which is pretty ludicrous. But we're going to keep trying. That's what makes it fun. Another counter. That's 46. That's 46. Hopefully we can get up to... I think we ended the last one at 32. So 64... Is the mark to beat, but I am doing some more experimentation with different weapons. I kind of like the red one's call. We're going to keep using it for a couple more runs, I think. Go ahead and blast him. That's just so satisfying. And I'm hoping that I'll get a bounty hunter as well while I'm here. But that gives me like a assault rifle damage or something. Okay. Fade away, which means that all my shots will add ammo back to the magazine. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, stay on the right side. Just to keep, to keep it efficient. Jump backward. Okay, here we go. Hit you two, immunity phase. Schluter is active, and now we go back to the main effort. Oh, she's gonna stay... Oh, she's going to do her... Oh, wow. That was a little bit of a strange immunity phase. Usually, she doesn't go into this one, but... It's fine. Gotcha. I hope my Schluter was still active. I'm assuming it was? But the fact that I only got two drops makes me think maybe it wasn't. A King's Call with 63,000. That's my first... That's my first shock King's Call. 63,000 damage... Isn't bad, but it's not the 69,000. So it's not a god roll. But hey, we have a king's call. We got a king's call. It's nice to see one. First time in a while. And that's my first shock one. So now I officially have a corrosive queen's call, a fire king's call, and a shock king's call. That's the, that's the three major ones you need for different kinds of bosses. Alright, let's use this fire one. Hey, hey, ho, ho, the king call is where we go. Look at that. It's, it, it really does pump. Okay, keep it efficient. Keep it efficient. As long as we hit the crit spot, we should be fine here. Okay. Wait till my action skill is up and then go for it. On, unimmune yourself. Oh, uh, looks like she's not going to. If you, if it takes you too long, the the fight does get a little bit messed up. Yeah, it's tough to it's tough to hit these crits whenever you're using the king's call when you don't when you don't fade away up because, well, Tavrine's like knocking you back and forth all the time. Okay, let's go. Shoot that, and then now this should be free. There we go. No Schluter active that time, but... Oh, it looks like I did have Schluter active. Beautiful. Come on, show me a King's Call. Router. Doesn't look like it. We, we stay on our grind. So you almost want to use a King's Call and then swap to something like a Monarch. So that way you can get your action skill back faster and then go back to your King's Call. Because your King's Call will only ever get two shots off unless you're hitting a crit. If you can hit that crit, then you can keep shooting it for as long as you want, similar to the Realm's Call. But if you if you don't get a crit, it's a, almost a useless weapon. That's why it's so good on Flak. Alright, that's Realm's Call. Toss me a nade. Never stop firing. There we go. Rowan's Call definitely has that gusto. And so does the Monarch. 
Blood me. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's that's some shredation right there. This should be a quick. This should be a quick clean one right here. Come on top. Later. Anybody around? I can shoot. There we go. Super easy. Schluter active. This is the one. I can feel it. Ooh, what's that? Nope. I keep getting the same couple guns. Ooh, this Maggie looks like it's better than mine. I still have the Maggie out. Let's swap off the light show for now. And let's go to my Maggie. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Wow, it's exactly the same. That's pretty cool. Exactly the same stats across the board. A Hunter Seeker. It's a grenade that I need, but it's not like mitosis or anything like that. If it was, I'd pick it up and then re-roll it, but... Since it's not, we just keep going. 48 runs, looking pretty strong. I've been having fun with, with different kinds of weapons, so... This time, I think I'm going to go as try hard as I can. Let's go. Actually, let's try a Maggie. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing as much. Uh, yeah, and I didn't do it fast enough. She got her laser out. Put the laser away, Tyrene. Yep, just do your turnaround thing. There we go. So that right there should be a mantle. I jumped directly on top of that spot. There we go. Blast you. Into fade away I go. One reload for the boys and then go back right back at it. Yes. So the Maggie tried its best right there, but... Unfortunately, it didn't seem like it was doing as much damage. I, I mean, again, the, the anointments aren't the best for a lot of my guns. This is a... A fairly new flak build, so. There we go. Beautiful. Lucian's call? Yep. Show me a... Ooh. I would say that's a nice... That's a, that's a nice augment. While fadeaway is active, gain greatly increased accuracy and handling, but I don't think it's that important. For the Maggie, at least. It has decent accuracy, but I think it'd be pretty good for a different kind of gun while you're in fadeaway. But most of the time, I just want the weapon damage instead. I right, run 49. It's my favorite number. Let's go. This is this has to be a miracle run. Let's go. Come on. Tyreen, you've been holding out on me. She's like, I already gave you a god roll queen's call. What do you want? Okay. I want the kings. I want to use it to kill Grave Ward. <laughs> that being said, the, the corrosive one is probably the one you need most of all. That's like, I think most of the biggest raid bosses are armor. At least some of them are. Like, I know Wotan is. Whoa, don't, don't knock me off the edge. There we go. We're fine. Oh wow, we one shot that guy. I wasn't. I was trying to. I was trying to loosen that guy up, so that we could cleanse him afterward. But is what it is. Get to keep those crits going. You see, my shooter goes away right there, so I gotta be careful. Oh wow, did I really take too long? I took too long. Look at that, another immunity phase. So if you, if you mess around at all in this fight, you you really waste a lot of time. Come on, get me there, get me there. No more immunity phases. There we go. Star helix, a flood, another flood. I believe. Oh, a queen's call, radiation. 63,000 damage. I should check to see if 63,000 damage is the the god roll. I will do that. I'll be back in just one second. So online it says that the, 
the god roll even for the radiation is 69,000 damage so it looks like they're all the same across the board which is pretty interesting that means that that one is definitely not a a god roll and what that also means is that 49 was not lucky I mean I did get a, a radiation queen's call which I maybe should have picked up because it's my first one but I'm not trying to have multiple copies of each I just want one copy of each gun most of the time I know that kind of goes against you know a lot of people's like borderlands style like all the I want one of each element I'm not really about one of each element I I like to have one of each gun unless it's my only end game option at which point yeah I'll grab a whole, whole bunch of copies But I try to get one that's versatile, or if it's a niche gun, don't, don't, uh, don't make it not a niche gun by getting, like, two or three of them and filling up inventory with them. Let it be good at what it's good at. Here we go. Like, we already, we already have, like, you know, an all-rounder here in our, with our monarch. Climb up. Blast the eyeball. Whoa, off the edge I go. That is... I wonder how I stopped that from happening because it seems a little bit random when you just... when you get absolutely sent off the edge. Crazy. Yeah, and it's there's absolutely huge costs now. Cost me. That was quick. Very quick. This time, Tyreen, you're not going to send me off the edge. Right? Do you promise? See, <laughs> look at that. It's like, it's completely RNG, it feels like. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I'm not gonna make this immunity phase. There we go. Did I make it? No, I didn't make it. Alright, we're gonna have to probably do one extra immunity phase this fight. It is, it is doobies, but it is doobie was not efficient enough. Let's try to see if I can make up for it here. Nope. Joe. Come on, chill out, Tyreen. Yep, do your attacks. Is she, you, is she really gonna march all the way to the edge and do her big attack? Oh, wait, never mind. She's, hit, she's hittable. There we go. Yeah, she's gonna do go all the way to the edge and do her flying attack. That's craziness. That's fine. I'm I'm professional. Up. Then this attack crouch to the right. Hey, don't hit me. Come on, become targetable. Oh, of course, she goes down into her. That's one thing. I, I that's what makes this immunity phase annoying. It's like she she was already in this phase. Like she was already ready to be going in, go into it. What's the big holdup? I should have, should have been active. It doesn't look like it was. I saw it lighting up on the green, but I think as I was shooting in those last bullets, it went away. A little bit unlucky. I need to clean up that. I, I, I can't be wasting reloads like that. 51. Let's keep it rolling. We'll get it. We'll get it before 100 runs, I'm sure. Right? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, let's go. Max efficiency. Blast him. And this time, what we're gonna do... Is I think... If I hit her... When she's not... No, I was gonna say... I wonder if I can get my action skill back... Faster if I hit her while she's immune. But it doesn't look like I can. This time, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm just gonna reload... At the right time. Just like that. Beautiful. Take you out. Slide up. I'm surprised I made that. Usually the game would kick me off there. Okay, put you into your final immunity phase. That was clean. That was a clean kill. It's usually the, the clean kills that give me no loot though. A crossroad. Oh, a King's Call with 66,000 damage. Ooh, that's the best one I've gotten so far. That's an upgrade. It's not the God roll. 
But that's an upgrade. There's an ice cream truck outside. You can they they drive by here, but usually there's no, no kids playing in the park across the street. But wow. Yeah, it's been it's been hot here, but today it's actually a little bit cooler here in Central New York. Oh look, at the, this this King's Call has a nice little scope on it. Interesting. Okay, very nice. A sixty-six thousand damage King's Call. Now all we have to do is add three more thousand to that, and we can call it. I'm gonna use it. Let's use it for a kill here. Bring it on. Action skill, Grenage. Here we go. Go ahead. Do your thing. All right, so we're gonna quickly climb. One tap. Wait for my, my fadeaway to be out. And then rinse as fast as we can. There we go. And rinse as fast as we can again. Oh, and now we're talking. Now we are talking. Get a couple of these laddies up to try to get our action skill back a little bit faster. I think that should be good enough. Yeah, definitely good enough. No, get me up there. Come on. There's one tap and then fade away. Okay. And it even shreds through that armor. Nice. That was all King's Call. Pretty efficient at kill. All King's Call. Beautiful. A Maggie. It looks like it's lower damage than mine, though. I like this. I like this King's Call a lot. It just looks so nice when you land those crits and all the extra projectiles go flying out in the sky. And then they come back to the original target. It's just... It's just... Not only is it visually pleasing, but watching the big boss enemy health bars just get shredded down feels amazing as well. I missed you, boy. On top of that, it's like a flak specific weapon. Because you need to be landing crits. And flak is the only character that can guarantee crits, which is super nice. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait a second. One, two. Get two crits off. I don't wanna I don't wanna stay up here for too long. Look at that. Look at the Look at the destroyer's health. This get absolutely shredded down. Oh, man. Can land some crits on these laddies. Should, that should help us get our action skill back as we're climbing, hopefully. Where's my five second? There we go. Come on, Tyrene. Immunity phase me. Good. One kill. Where are you? I can't find you. That's fine. We're just gonna go for the we're just gonna go for the regular kill. No shooter active this time. But if something does drop, it could be a king's call. It's not. <laughs> Hoping it might be, but this thing is fun to use. That semi-automatic, that 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 fan the hammer, Wild Wild West style. Fifty-four runs, looking good. It is a lot of work, though. I will say, like it's a lot of work to. Keep pulling those triggers as fast as you can, but it's fun. Toss me. Good work. It's and I, and I like how it's like just a boss shredding specialist. Beautiful. And actually, here I'm going to swap to my monarch. Look, I need to do it a little bit more efficient than that, but next time. And keep shooting. That's beautiful. Beautiful carnage. Should I get some... Some of my action skill cooldown back real quick? Four seconds, that's good. Get up there. One pop. You down. Oh, fight for my life. Oh, I, I, should, have, I should have Shuler active now. Yeah, I do. Let's go. Let's just go. Rowan's call. Beautiful. Yeah. Once once the fadeaway ended, that you lose a lot of your effectiveness with the king's call. Okay, a, a bounty hunter. Ooh, no good rolls though. Okay. 
Binary Cutsman. That used to be one of the, the goats back in the day, but no longer. As far as I know. It used to like be what I used on most to shred through Grave Ward. 55. 55. And, you know, you're asking yourself, is it really worth it for the 3,000 bonus damage? Yes, because the 3,000 bonus damage gives you the peace of mind. It's like, I know I'm using the best of the best. Watch watch my God Roll King's call roll with like a perfect anointment like while fade away is active get 150 bonus damage or something like that That'd be dope. Let's go to my Monarch the bipod out. That's going to immediately activate my Fade away. Oh, I go down here. Hopefully I can find something beautiful This 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 one might be a little bit scuffed Yeah, this is definitely scuffed Because I went down. I'm surprised I'm going down, though. Yeah, look at Tyreen. There she goes. She's like, yep, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to fly. Don't do it. Don't leave. Don't jump off the edge. And there she goes. That's fine. I get to have some fun killing these other buddies. Woo. Oh, imagine if I could hit by two of those. If this was Mythic Dungeoning in World of Warcraft, I'd be dead. This time I'm gonna preempt it. Make sure that I'm there. Beautiful. There should be one more of the kneel down phases left. Nope. I'm just gonna end it right here. No shooter required. Wait, she she's actually really flying away. I haven't seen this this one in a while. Wow, I guess I really scuffed it, huh? Stand right in the middle of one of them. I don't. I don't need any more damage. She's already dead. She's just doing multiple of her attacks. Oh, my pet went down. That's crazy. What in the world? That is. Look at that attack. Holy cow! Fade away me. Are you finally gonna go down or what? No, she's gonna go. She's gonna go one more immunity phase. That is <laughs> the fact that she could. She just did three attacks at no health. Ooh, that's that's not a bad Rowan's call. It's close. No, I mean it's. It honestly might out damage my Rowan's call for this specific fight. But overall, it's not a god roll or anything like that. Well, another roll was called. Not a god roll. Very cool. Yeah, but this fire roll called because it has the, the fade away anointment on it. It actually might be a little bit better. It might be just a tad bit better for the fight. Let's see if we can use it and see how... Let's see how well it does. I mean, the other roll called was doing fine. I'm excited to see how this one does. Action skill, Grenage, Fire. And that's that's top tier damage. Top tier damage, a Fire Rowan's Call with action skill active. Or while Fade Away is active, bonus 150. That's nice. It's like you don't really need it for any reason though. You know, it's like the Rowan's Call is more of a, a mob shredder, but still. That's, that's some good deeps right there. Amazing deeps. And because we get the ricochets, we might be able to activate our Schluter just by shooting the boss, which is, which could actually really improve our efficiency. One thing I'm concerned about is not being able to activate Fade Away, but... We have Schluter active, right? Yep, we do. So we can just focus the boss down, and our ricochets should kill the other mobs. Yeah, I think Rowan's Call might be our new, our new go-to. Might be our absolute new go-to. Let's see. Devastator. Okay. No King's Call. 
Run it back, run it back like I know you do. But it is exciting to get to get a weapon that like guarantees us a faster run because usually you have to I spend some time between the immunity phases shooting a different enemy to activate my Schluter, but now the Schluter will activate itself. The efficiency is off the charts. We'll see. It did at that time. We'll see if we'll see if it'll can remain that efficient for each of our subsequent runs. Okay, we climb. Trying to get our action skill back is all. Go. Just keep shooting. Look at that carnage. It's so amazing. Okay, don't hey, that bug blocked me. Don't block me. Action skill active. Yeah, I'm dead. My looter is most certainly active. Yep. Looks like it's doing it every time. That's it, and that's an amazing thing. Ooh, it looks like a, a bear trooper class mod? No, thanks. A Queen's Call, 63,000 damage, but unfortunately, 63 is not going to get the job done. This is not a bad Cosmic Stalker. What you, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> My pet is doing some crazy shenanigans. Run it back. It's another queen's call, but it's it's tough to get that sixty nine thousand damage. I don't I don't think it's a very high chance to to get it. But once we do, hooey! All right, fade away. Grenage. Phase one is the easiest. It's really phase two. It's not having access to your to your action skill that that makes it a little bit tricky. It, but fall, falling down actually helps me out a little bit. Okay, we're up. Action skill me. And with the drones call, we never have to stop firing. I don't know where you're at. There you are. Okay, final climb. Come on. Three, two, I want to make sure it's ready. Fade away. I don't see a kill yet. I did get one. Beautiful. Uh, that should be a shooter up. Ooh, Hellshock. Okay. Hellshock does a lot of damage. Its card is like, on its card, every single stat was higher than the one I have now, but it's hard to... It's hard to compare assault rifles to pistols, especially when the Rowan's Calls is so beastly. Okay. 59, heading towards that 60 mark. Nah, I'm, I'm happy to get this Rowan's Call. I feel like now I've got my go-to for this fight, which is super nice. I mean, the, the, monarch, the monarch and the the light show both do a good job, but uh... I'll say because of the the ricochets and all that, the Rowan's call probably takes the cake as the number one. Number one for farting, farming this fight when if you want to have Schluter going. Let's go ahead and bipod it out. And you don't have to stop shooting. Let's make this as, as efficient and as clean as possible. All right. Monarch will guarantee that I get back my action skill. Schluter is active. Beautiful. Yeah, it's Rowan's call all day. Like that a lot. Snowdrift Cosmic Crater. There's a lot of those. Ooh, Atom Bomb Deathless makes a lot of sense. It's too bad that his rolls aren't that great, but an Atom Bomb Deathless makes a lot of sense to me. So if I'm trying to run like a U-Rad, a U-Rad build, and by U-Rad I mean it's an anointment that you can get on weapons that when you're below 50% health, everything you do that's radiation gets boosted by 150%.
the deathless will put me inside that threshold and the atom bomb effect will boost the radiation damage so it's a double whammy it's a really nice synergy i didn't i didn't count the time of that time there's 60. okay climb 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 i think we might stop it at 62 my fiance's favorite number go cleanse you maybe reload even though the reload's a little bit not worth it yep a little bit scuffed we should be okay though hopefully i did that fast enough i did oh i was worried i was worried i was like no we're not sitting through like 14 animations are we okay action skill me surely we get the schluter up and running yep we definitely do you can even see the red dots in the minimap as I'm shooting the Roman's call to start getting evaporated. Come on, show me the money. It could be kind of worth it to maybe go inside the vault after each kill, but like, what is the vault going to give me? It's just like the Borderlands movie, and it's just like all the Borderlands games. Like, you go into the you go into the vault for what you know. It's like, oh, it's it's limitless wealth and power. It's like every single vault's like not that. Every single vault's just like empty, barren, nothing. And it's like, this is what we waited for. If there's one thing about the series that needs to get changed, it's, it's the, there's not a single vault in a game where you're a vault hunter that feels grandiose. It, we need to have a little bit more. Like, I, I want to be like the, um, the, the National Treasure movie featuring Nich Nicolas Cage the movie where they hunt for the treasure the whole movie when they finally find it it's like the most amazing treasure ever yeah that's what i want for the vaults but it, i don't have much hope for it because even in the borderlands movie they open up the vault and it's like it's, there's nothingness and i talked about it in my last video spoiler sorry but yeah at least one time i would like to see a vault that actually goes kind of hard let's swap to my I swap to my monarch here and just do the thing with the monarch. Roland's call, get me a kill, please. I'm not sure if my Schluter was active there. Definitely was. Beautiful. Okay, please, Kings call me. Kings call me. Knife drain loaded dice. No, that's not it. Okay, one more run. Yeah, just double checking. One more run. Here we go. Sixty-two. This is the this is the one. I I have a great feeling about this one. We're gonna get a sixty-nine thousand shock king's call, and the world will never know what hit it. Max efficiency. Let's go. Nade me. Roman's call. Dodge the attacks. Get ready for the jumps. One. Two. Oh yeah, we're locked in. Come on, make the jump. Make the jump. Yes. Go to my other assault oh, rifle. This is will get me back my action skill way faster because there's multiple pellets. Roland's call is the most efficient for this phase because you don't have to stop shooting. Dodge the attacks. Oh, we're there already for the jumps. No, make it. No. It's okay. Second fastest ever. Second fastest ever. I meant to swap I meant to swap over to my monarch but it, it failed miserably that's okay the first half was efficient second half was okay all right here we go shock King's call here it comes cosmic stalker bang a ring no King's call a little bit tough a little bit tough but hey we did a pretty good job I'm gonna actually gonna head over to sanctuary and I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that spark plug launch pad the one that synergizes well with the most snowshoe build the one that causes like <laughs> i swear if, if if you have epilepsy and you try to use that build you you will seize up but it is a fun build so let's go ahead and put our spark plug launch pad in the bank for our mos where are you where are you 
there it is the spark plug launch pad with cryo damage beautiful anyways that's gonna be it for this video thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one and i will see you all in the next one where we're guaranteed guaranteed the king's call i'll see you thanks for hanging out bye